Example 9.4. For the data shown in table 9.3, this one, determine which alternative is better at I equal 10% per year if the study period is A, one year, and B, three years. This is a second method that we can use to perform a replacement study with a specified study period. In this case, we will calculate the annual worth for both the defender and the challenger over the study period only. In here, we will not be using the ESL, so that means that we're not going to be doing it for all the different case. We're just going to do it for the given study period. And that's it. Okay, so let's start with this. If you look at the table, you will notice that all of these estimates are from example 9.3. So here we said that we had a gradient and the annual operating cost for the defender has no pattern. In this table they present a single column for the market value but whatever amount you have in year zero will be your P and then the rest are going to be S1, S2, S3, S4, and S5. Same thing here, your SO will be your P. And then the rest are the salvage values for the individual years. Okay, so in the problem it's asking us for part A to perform the study over a study period of one year. This means that our K, we're only going to do it for K equal one, or we can also see it this way, that N will be equal to one. Okay, so we're gonna do annual worth the challenger because we already know both of them are going to be one so we just uh, differentiated with the subscript C and D. The annual worth for the challenger it's going to be minus 50,000 we convert this to A for 10 percent and one year plus 40,000 okay that's our S for year one only find A given F 10% 1 and at this point we only have one value for the annual operating cost or one year so we just subtract the 5,000 and we will end up with minus 20,000 we must do the same for the defender minus 15,000 find a given P 10% also 1 plus 12,000 find a given F 10% and 1 and same thing we only have one year of annual operating cost so that means that we just subtract the $20,000 this will give us minus Twenty-four thousand five hundred. Let me just highlight that yes, we have a one-year study period, so our factors will all be ones. Okay, and then from here, we compare our results, and the challenger will be selected. because it has the numerically largest number. Okay, and now we do the same for part B, but now it's a study period of three years, meaning that we're only going to do it, we're not going to do it for years one, two, and three, we're only doing this for year three or an N of three years. Okay, so we 
to the iron worth of the challenger minus 50,000 find a given p 10% for 3 years plus in this case s3 is 25,600 and that must be converted to a also for three years and then we have the gradient okay so now we can see clearly that there's a gradient so we have a base five and then it increases by two okay so we put the gradient and put minus the base that doesn't need any factor because it's already an a and the gradient part which needs to be converted to a find a given g 10% and this is for 3 years okay and we obtain a result of minus 19245 so just to highlight our uh, 3 years so we have 3 we have 3 and we have 3 we do the same thing for the annual worth of the defender it's minus 15,000 find a given p 10% for 3 years plus s3 going to be 7,680. We convert this, find a given f, 10%, 3 years. And then we said that this one has no pattern, so we must uh, move all three of these to year zero individually, add them up, and then distribute uniformly amongst the three years. Okay, so for this, we would have minus the first one 20,000 find P given F 10% this one is one year away then the second one 8,000 find P given F 10% this is two years away and then the last one 12,000 find P given F 10% and this is three years away we have moved all three to year zero and now we distribute with find a given P 10% and this will be for three years okay so then again we have three we have three and we have three Okay, so all of these inside the brackets are going to be the individuals that we move. So you know that the last one has to be in year 3. Okay, so this one will give us a result of minus 17,307. And if we compare our two results, in this case, our selection will be the defender. Okay, so you will see that depending on the study period that you choose, the result may vary. Okay, so we can see here in the very last slide how the as the study period is abbreviated below the ESL values, because this was the, the ESL that we had computed previously in example 9.3, the challenger will be favored.